Hey everybody, I'm out here with a 2020 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. Now, the Toyota Tundra has been on sale without a major redesign since the 2007 model year. That's 14 years on sale since it's last been fully redesigned. All the competition has been redone since then, and uh, this thing really kind of stands alone as call it an ancient relic of full-size truck design of yesteryear. When I got this thing, I kind of expected to be disappointed by it, just given how old it is and given how much the competition has advanced since this thing was last all new. But honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, some updates for 2020 have kept it competitive so to speak and uh, you know the Tundra really doesn't at this stage in its life cycle attempt to compete with like the work truck offerings of Ford or those super high-end luxury trim levels and it really doesn't try to compete as much on a high-end off-road standpoint uh, with you know something like the Ford F-150 Raptor. It kind of stays in its lane. People love it for its reliability. Powertrain's good. Granted, it gets terrible fuel economy. Um, and when you look at it through that lens for what it really is, and that's a full-size truck aimed at the heart of the market, aimed at a buyer who is familiar with Toyota and doesn't want to deal with unforeseen reliability issues and stuff like that, uh, you know, you, you can see that the Tundra still really has its place in the full-size truck segment today. So we will do a little tour of the TRD Pro. I want to highlight some of the TRD Pro features, given that they're really the most interesting things about this truck. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's been around for a while now, so most features are going to be pretty familiar. But uh, yeah, we'll do a little walk around outside, inside, and then I'll share some thoughts. Starting outside here, you can see this thing is in the really, really, really great army green color. It's probably my favorite of the yearly special edition TRD Pro colors to date. Like any Toyota TRD Pro, it's got the Toyota Wordmark grille, which I really love. You'll notice one weird thing about the Tundra is that it has two hood scoops. You gotta look closely to realize it and then you can't unsee it, but this is one hood scoop and that's another hood scoop. Neither of them are functional. They're just purely for looks and uh, you know, I don't mind this one, but what bothers me about this one is from behind the driver's seat, it gets in the way of your field of vision. So if there were a small person standing in front of the truck, you're less likely to see them because of this hood scoop. And given that it's non-functional, that really bothers me. Anyway, moving on. Other TRD Pro stuff, you'll see that there's a skid plate under here, just like the other Toyota TRD Pro trucks. Uh, what's kind of quirky about it is since there's this block off plate here, I don't know what that's to change, but there's obviously something behind that. The TRD Pro logo is actually off centered on this thing. All these trucks got red TRD Pro logos, I believe for the 2019 model year on the skid plate here and on the Tundra, it's off centered. Another TRD Pro staple are these rigid industries fog lights. I kind of had written them off at first but after putting a lot of miles on this thing uh, on a ski trip up to Montana this week I really came to appreciate these fog lights obviously fog lights can't be super bright so that's not like the selling point of these but they put out a very clear clean light they illuminate the area in front of the vehicle really well excellent angles uh, just really really came to enjoy the fog lights uh, and I'm surprised I'm even acknowledging them moving on you get these BBS forged TRD Pro wheels with the red TRD center cap here and then Michelin LTX AT squared. Very mild all-terrain tires. Behind them are probably the TRD Pro's biggest selling point and that's these TRD tuned Fox shock absorbers. You can see you get a red spring up front along with a piggyback reservoir here and that's, that's the thing that says Fox right there and what that does is that pulls the shock oil away from the movement uh, and generally when you got a lot of movement with a shock that oil will heat up and it'll become uh, less effective at damping the the shock so pulling it away from the shock holding it off to the side here keeps it cool and keeps it functioning better uh, for longer periods of time and you can see the red spring inside there it looks pretty cool gives the truck a very mild lift like I said this isn't like a Raptor. Raptor gets even beefier uh, control arms, a wider track, 35 inch tires. Uh, you know, pretty, this is pretty mellow by comparison. I, I wouldn't call these two vehicles competitors. Um, granted though, Ford, I will argue, doesn't have an F-150 trim level that competes with the Tundra TRD Pro. 
Anyway, blacked out badges here. Moving on to the back, I'll show you the shock. Behind the rear wheel, piggyback reservoir. That, you can see that right there. Uh, you know, not quite as exciting as the ones up front, but the Tundra TRD Pro gets this stamped bed panel here. And then a TRD dual exhaust. It sounds pretty cool when you start the truck up and uh, I liked it at first, but after a couple hundred miles on the highway, it got pretty obnoxious and frankly, I wished it wasn't there. TRD stamped on the tip there. Crew Max is how Toyota brands this cab design, but really it's just like a crew cab and this is technically a short bed. The Tundra TRD Pro is also available for 2020 as an extended cab model with a standard length bed that I think is like six and a half feet. This bed's five and a half feet. Now we'll move on to the inside. Okay, climbing behind the wheel of this dinosaur here, and this is where the Tundra really starts to show its age. The interior isn't bad. Typical Toyota quality, you know? We'll start it up here. Push button start. I think that's actually a fairly recent addition. And now for a little interior tour. So this is leather. You get this red stitching on the TRD Pro trim. Circular vents. Hard plastic uh, dashboard top. You get this little storage tray up here for like sunglasses, keys, whatever. Tundra TRD Pro trim comes with TRD Pro embroidered in the seats and it also comes with rubber floor mats that have the TRD Pro logo in them as well. Uh, the last real TRD Pro feature is this TRD shift knob uh, for the six speed automatic transmission here. Probably my favorite addition to this vehicle for 2020 is standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Toyota's own infotainment system is pretty weak. Uh, it's been in need of a redesign for years now and uh, I'm not sure when it's actually going to get one, but at least now you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so that you don't have to necessarily interface with Toyota's native software as much. A couple active safety features on this thing for 2020. Automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, does not have lane keep assist, and I believe radar cruise control as well. Yeah, radar cruise control. What it doesn't have and what it really needs is blind spot monitoring. Uh, you'll notice there's no blind spot notification light on that mirror. Like I said, it's not as bad as you think in some areas, but then when you realize it doesn't have stuff like blind spot monitoring and uh, this is a $54,000 truck, it starts to feel kind of dated. One of my favorite features of the Tundra is the roll down rear window. So that window actually rolls down. Uh, the switch is right here and I'll just show it to you. So. I don't know why you'd really need that, especially given that the bed allows you to haul long enough items as is, but you know, maybe you could throw a two by four through the back window or you can just air it out. It's nice to have this feature to pull some air through the cab at the very least. Back seat is pretty cavernous. Let's hop back there and I'll give you a little tour, although there's not really much to show off. Okay, not much to see back here, like really not much. These air vents are, boy, out of the 90s. Uh, 12 volt outlet right here. No USB ports though, no second row heated seats, no air conditioning controls back here. Uh, you know, this pretty, pretty uh, work truck grade in the second row of this thing. Leather seats, there's a speaker. There's only one seat back pocket. There is a light up there, regular sized sunroof, no panoramic roof on the Tundra, but the best thing is just the massive amount of space back here. So I have this seat obviously where I would have it uh, if I were driving and you can see, I usually do a test to show f number of fingers. In this case, I could probably show number of hands. Yeah, basically two full hand lengths of room in the second row of this thing, which is just nuts. But other than that, not a lot to see back here. There is an armrest with two cup holders in it. Okay, let's take a look at the window sticker so that we're all on the same page here. 
So this is a 2020 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. It's built in San Antonio, Texas. So some of the features you can see here, really no options on this thing. A uh, couple accessories, uh, that's the bed mat. That's really it. So this thing does not have a blind rear bed, but it does have a rubber mat in it. Engine is a 5.7 liter V8 that's been around since 2007, putting out the same power it did back then. That's 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. Transmission's a six-speed automatic. Toyota hasn't touched that either. Uh, the Toyota Land Cruiser got an eight-speed back in 2016, but the Tundra has carried on with a six-speed auto now for many years. Fuel economy is kind of the glaring shortcoming of this vehicle. Uh, it's EPA rated at 13 MPG city, 17 MPG highway, and 14 MPG combined. Uh, on my way up to Big Sky this weekend, I averaged about 15 on the way up, and then I got up to 16 and a half on the way back. So that's pretty close to that highway number. Uh, granted, still pretty weak. Uh, what I will say, though, is that I know that Toyota's EcoBoost line of engines is EPA rated at a much better fuel economy than this but I've driven two EcoBoost, 3.5 EcoBoost F-150s now over probably about a thousand miles and real world average is a lot closer to the numbers that you see here. So uh, while I'd like to see better fuel economy out of this thing, uh, it's it's pretty much par for the course when it comes to big engines and mid-sized trucks. And with all that, the price of this thing, including a rather expensive $1,500 destination fee, brings this thing to $54,414. So some final thoughts on the Tundra. Uh, let's take a look at the full-size pickup segment as a whole. Uh, Ford F-150 is the number one seller. GM and Ram are at this point kind of tied for second. Uh, I like the new Ram 1500 a lot, lot, lot better than I like either of the GM trucks. And then in fourth and fifth place, you've got Toyota and Nissan. And the Tundra and the Titan are a lot alike. They really target the heart of the market. Uh, Nissan and Toyota don't really bother to sell a uh, work truck grade version of their trucks anymore. They don't offer anything smaller than a V8 and neither Nissan or Toyota really do a hardcore off-road model. They don't do a really high-end luxury trim. They pretty much just target that heart of the market. And uh, when you look at it that way, the truck market's so huge that you start to understand how Nissan and Toyota don't really need to sell in massive numbers to still have appeal. And that's kind of what... Um, you know, I've concluded about this truck in my week behind the wheel. Um, it's it's totally functional. It, reliability is killer. Um, the TRD Pro trim is fun, and you know I've I, I understand now how the Tundra really it needs to be redesigned. But then again, it really kind of doesn't. It's pretty much good enough as it is, um, and that just speaks to the inherent usefulness of a full size truck, right? It's got a V8. It's got good reliability. What else can you really ask for? And a lot of people don't need more than that. And that's why this vehicle continues to sell in good enough numbers for Toyota to keep it around. Thanks for watching.